This video is a guide for how to build your schedule during arena scheduling. First, you'll want to log into your Skyward account. Once you've logged into your Skyward account, you want to look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the tab for arena scheduling. See a drop down menu appear under arena scheduling. Be sure to choose the 22 23 school year. On the next screen, you will see the courses for next year start to populate. You will notice that not all of the courses could possibly be listed on this screen, but at the bottom of the list of courses, there are arrows that allow you to continue to flip through all of the courses that are being offered for the 22-23 school year. At the top of the screen, you will see several drop-down menus like a drop down menu for period, a drop down menu for subject that you will be able to use to filter for courses as you start to build your schedule. You'll also be able to filter by a teacher's last name. If there is a particular teacher that you are looking to take a course with, you'll be able to look for what their last name and what courses they are offering next year. Underneath their, the filters is a chart full of information that will be useful as you start to build your schedule. See on the very first column is entitled the option column. That is the, the column you will use to add or remove a course from your schedule. Next to that column is the fit column. Right now you see a lot of yeses in that column, but indicating that all of those courses would fit in your schedule right now. Some of those yeses will start to change to noes as you start to, to plug courses into your schedule. Next to the fit column is the seats available column indicating how many seats are available in each course. Those numbers as well will change as everyone starts to schedule their 22-23 schedule for next year. Next to that is the course column, just giving you the title of the course or the subject of the course. Besides the course column is the days meet column, indicating which days of the six day cycle that course, that class meets. Right next to it is the period column, <clears throat> which period of the day in our nine period schedule that course will that class will meet. Beside the period column is the term column. You'll see courses indicated as a year long course, <clears throat> a year long course with a final, or a year long course with a midterm. Next to that is the teacher column, which indicates who is teaching that course. Moving over to the end of the chart, you will also see a grades column, which grade levels are able to take a particular course. Beside that is a subject column, giving you a little more detail about what kind of course that is, whether it's a science course, an elective, a social studies course. The next to last column is labeled the class column. In this column, you will find the course and the section number for each class, which matches the course and section number that appears on the master schedule that was shared prior to arena scheduling. And finally, we'll see a room number column indicating which room the class is held in next year. I'm going to use that information as well as the filters at the top to start to build a schedule for this particular student so you can get a feel for how to navigate through all of the pieces on the screen. This particular student happens to be a junior, so we're going to start by using some of the filters at the top. We're going to first filter the subject. We're going to try to find a social studies class for this junior. So we choose subject from the filter column, slide over and click on apply filter. And all of the social studies options that would be available to this student start to populate. Students going to take a civics class next year, and right now I can, we can see that all of those civics classes would fit into their schedule. I'm going to choose one and click on the add button in the option column. That course has now been added to the student schedule. You can see if I would decide to change it, I could cl now click to remove it. You can also see in the fit column, it has changed from yes to enroll to tell you that that class is now in, your, in the student schedule. We go back up to the top and want to filter for another subject. Maybe it's a math class. Change the subject to math. Click on the apply filter button. We'll see all of the options for this student in the math area. Also see that 
all of the courses are not just on the screen as there are arrows highlighted at the bottom saying that we could flip to the next page. This student wants to take pre-calc trig as a junior. I don't see it listed on this screen, so we're going to hit the arrow to see if it appears on the next screen. It looks like it's at the bottom of the list, and all three options for pre-calc trig will still would fit in the student schedule at this point. So we'll add one of them to the schedule. Again, you'll see it now changed to remove if you wanted to change your mind about the course, and it also changed in the fit column to enrolled. Also see directly above that, the one of the yeses had changed to a no to indicate that that particular course would not fit in the student schedule based on the other classes that have already been scheduled. So back up to the top, and instead of searching by subject, let's get search by a class period. Let's go and search for search six period and see what's available for this student to take. Click on the period and apply filter and you'll see all of the options that are available for this student to take during six period. You also see some of the fit column now say no, those would not fit in the student schedule. Also see the arrows are also highlighted still at the bottom to indicate there are more choices on additional pages. Add the athletic internship to this student's sixth period in their schedule. Anytime you are making your way through your schedule, you can always click on the view print schedule link. It'll bring up your schedule as it has been entered so far up to this point, and we can see all of the courses that we've scheduled so far and what we still have left to schedule first, second, fourth, fifth, and eighth period. So we close out of the view schedule and continue to build the schedule for this student. Maybe they want to take a phys ed in their schedule next year so we could filter by physical education and see what is available to fit into their schedule since they've already started to schedule some courses. There may be some phys ed courses that no longer fit. See some no's indicating courses that no longer fit in their schedule, but there are also some yeses. We're going to choose this gym class, this phys ed class during 5A for this student. If we go back and look at how we view the schedule. We wanted to make sure that we fill in all of the class periods during for the a complete schedule which means each period of the day needs to have something listed for each one through six period of days of the schedule. So when we had just scheduled gym class during fifth period, that class meets two, four, and six. This student would need to go back and find something else for period five during days one, three, and five. Maybe it is another gym class, maybe it's chorus, maybe it's a study hall, we want to make sure that all six days of their of the cycle are full during fifth period with a class. Let's go back and give this student a study hall potentially during the, those other days for fifth period. See if that is not, is available to the this student. Certainly looks like we can add a study hall on days one, three, and five. And we continue to do those steps until your schedule is full for all periods one through eight. You also want to make sure that during ninth period, you have a club scheduled. You could use the filters at the top to do that, choosing period nine and the club as your subject. You'll see all of the clubs that are being offered during ninth period. Again, the arrows are highlighted at the bottom of the screen indicating that are, there are more pages worth of clubs to be looking at. You can choose one club or multiple clubs. We'll add Interact Club to this student schedule. If we view and print the schedule or again, you can see that this student still needs to schedule some things for first, second, and fourth, and eighth period. Once you have scheduled all eight periods, 
for all six days of the six day cycle, including a club for ninth period, you are considered to have a complete schedule and you would be ready to click the submit schedule link. When you click on the submit schedule link the day of your arena scheduling, you're going to want to have your guidance counselor take a look at your schedule to make sure it is a complete schedule before you click the submit schedule button. You want to make sure you have something listed in your schedule for all periods one through eight, for all six days of the cycle in each of those periods, and a club during ninth period. And check with your guidance counselor so they can approve your schedule before you push the button to submit your schedule for the 22-23 school year.